Hello everybody and welcome back to Dead World. Uh, if you caught the last episode, I believe we got the armory together. We had reclaimed a tank, a freaking tank, which is actually pretty cool looking. I like the use of quartz on that. Um, and anyway, just as a recap, we now have this armory. I got a really beat up piece of armor from it, which uh, decreases my speed. Uh, scouts have returned with average loot. And if we can save up to 40 levels, we could either get a chainsaw or a military bow. That's really cool. Now, I'm wondering if the armor, it's probably always just this chest plate, huh? It's not like a random chance of getting that or a different piece of armor to wear. Let's see what our average loot is really quick. Is that, is that this one? A baseball bat. Do we have anything else we haven't claimed yet? No. Sadly, no. So, it's been a little while for me since I recorded the last episode, so I'm a little fuzzy on exactly what we need to do next, but I'm pretty sure we want to take this into the city and start wrecking face, if I do remember correctly. Let's see, what are you all about, Mitch? You don't have anything. You're going to come with me, Mitch? So, uh, just as a recap for gear, we've got a lot of arrows, a lot of molotovs and bombs and uh, instant health potions. Got a decent amount of food now. And then uh, we've got our knife, which is kind of the standard weapon, and then our machete, which really decreases our health, but gives us a little extra, and there you can see it decreasing the three hearts, uh, it does give us a little extra oomph. Oh, apparently we are not ready to go. Am I missing something? Let's go in here. Are there any new survivors? It doesn't seem like we really rescue new survivors very often, sadly. And I don't think anything else has changed. We've pretty much done all of the building stuff we can do. There aren't any more uh, quests to be, side quests to be done, sadly. And I guess we could try going inside the tank. Maybe that's what we need to do? Nothing in here. I'm just, I'm, it's been a little while since I explored the base and I want to see if anything else is going on. So this is where I believe it was Aaron was hanging out. And I think he was supposed to fix up our... I, can I do that? Fix up our bike there. But uh, as many people that are involved with us find out, things do not go well for them. Okay, so that's it in the base. Yeah, so let's see if we can like take this, uh, this tank for a spin. Is that what we do? Is that a thing? And flick of the switch. Oh, yeah. <gasps> cool. Attack city. Yes. It's strange how you have to go through multiple stages of these rooms. Like, if you attack city, why can't you just attack city? Why do you also have to start? <laughs> it's confusing to me. Destroy enemy supplies and vehicles. Can I flip the switch? Oh! Dude! We're mo- Oh, this is cool! We are driving a tank right now. Okay, so now what? Oh, gosh! Who do? Okay, so we have a lot of bandits here. Where's that bow bandit? There's a couple bow bandits back there. Let's go ahead and take them out from range. I shouldn't be too sparing with my arrows, because I've got plenty of them. Even though it is just a really basic bow. I got plenty. What? How? Is it doing that weird bounce-off thingy? I don't appreciate that. There we go. I know I'm not great with a bow, but I'm pretty sure I was spo Ooh, supposed to be hitting them there. I would prefer not to get knocked down there, please and thank you. You guys are kind of tanky, aren't you? There you go. Ain't tanky no mo. Okay, who else we got? Who wants a piece? You want a piece? I got plenty of pieces. Reese's pieces. Come here. Mm, I love Reese's. Reese's pieces. Reese's butter cup. Uh, peanut butter cups. <laughs> the I, I heard that there's mega peanut butter cups you can buy, which are absolutely gigantic, and I would be completely all for that. I feel like I hear another clanky. There's that guy over there. So we're supposed to be destroying stuff. What, ooh, there's a there's some nice uh, diamond down here. Anything else? Destroy enemy supplies and vehicles. Okay, so what do supplies look like, I wonder? Uh, I see you over there, you dang guy. Whoa, how did he get one shot? That's strange. hey -ya! So we might get enough XP from this mission to go get a chainsaw or something, which I would be absolutely all for. That would be so cool. Um, so am I just supposed to be cleaning out the city here? And then maybe things will present themselves to be destroyed? 
I don't know. And I'm not sure if we're going to have a fixed amount of these guys or if they're going to keep spawning in on us or something. So let's just explore. Let's see what we got. Go Ooh. Ominous sounds. It seems like things are pretty much uh, closed in for the most part. Here's another diamond block. And this looks like the wall we shot through before. Hey, guys. Oh, what do I have? I have dynamite in my inventory. And that had some uh, tooltip stuff to it. So let me... These, these guys aggro seem weird. Can be placed on block of diamond. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that's so cool. So we destroyed their vehicle. Oh, and I get it back? Wow. Okay. So I believe it said it was a skull. So these guys must be dropping it for us every once in a while, maybe. Because, ow, because they're skeletons. I know they don't normally drop skulls. In vanilla Minecraft, but this ain't no vanilla. Hey yeah, hey yeah. Oh hey, there's another diamond box. This must be like their supply area. Oh, there's there's a lot of guys. Let's switch to more powerful weapon. Where did you come from? Ow. Actually, it didn't really hurt at all. <laughs> now that I look at my health. Now I remember on the rooftop I got wrecked by a few of these guys, so I need to play it a little more carefully. Are you, like, not gonna move? It's so strange. They're aggro. Oh, are they too tall? No, 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 they're not too tall. They're just a little special, is all. That rhymed. Hee hee hee. Oh, oh, what are you? You had a name. I didn't really catch what it was, because it was kind of getting, uh, overridden by his hel- or not his helmet, his, uh, his head gear. Boom! Suck it supplies! Hey! Where'd you come from? Where are you going? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? There's a lot of guys in here. I might as well take them out for the levels. This is probably the best opportunity I've had to farm up levels. Uh, so it would be nice to try to get a bunch for some of the sweet weapons. Because even my machete here does not do a whole lot of damage, really. It still takes quite a few hits to take these guys down. And I guess I could be critting and stuff like that, but really, who's got time for that? <laughs> we all know I do not. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi! Hey, hey you! Get wrecked! Uh, there's, ooh, there's a lot of guys under there. Now, I'm down to three TNT. I thought I was picking them back up after the explosions. Are they... Oh, okay, so they, they get uh, put back to their actual name once you pick them back up again. I wonder I wonder if they're still going to be usable or if the command blocks check for a specific item name. I don't even know if that's a thing they can do or not. Something to be, be aware of, at least, as a possibility. Get crit! That was not a crit. Get crit! There we go. Ooh, ow! It's kind of nice how even though some of these guys are melee, they're all still skeletons, so I still can get arrow drops from them. It's kind of handy. I see you here, hiding in the grass. I can't hit you in the grass, but I see you. <laughs> Ow! Stop! Okay, is this a vehicle I am supposed to explode? I really like the trucks and stuff in this map, just the way they're built. Very cool looking. Okay, you do not seem explodable. Let's sneak through the shrubbery here. And I'm just going to kind of keep wrapping around the outside just to see how things are going. Um, I don't, I didn't notice how if, uh, if I started with TNT once I loaded into this area or if I've been picking it up from enemies. So, like, if I started with it automatically, then I would assume that there's three more things to explode. Otherwise, I don't really know. So we're just going to play it by ear, I suppose you could say. I am just chugging through my steak like nobody's business, and it's getting annoying. Hello? Yeah. This feels like it would be a supply zone. Oh, some of you guys don't have swords. That's nice. Are you just workers or something? I'm just coming into your place of business and starting a massacre. Here we go. Gets bloated. Boom! Uh, really no reason to clean out those guys. Hey, where do you come from? Maybe they are spawning. Oh. They are not... Happy that I exploded their place of business. Uh, okay, we know about this now. Let's do that up. So that was a 
fairly decent perimeter sweep, I think. And I've got one more TNT on me. So, do any of these vehicles need to be exploded? That one was, I went in there, ow, and exploded that. So what's the last spot I'm missing? Probably a vehicle, oh, there we go, a couple vehicles. There we go, return to your base. Cool. Now, I wish there would have been loot in these. That seems like it would be a nice thing. Why are, oh, I exploded you already, okay. Like, I didn't really gain anything by coming in here and just wrecking their faces entirely. And go home. And go home. No. Uh... Oh, oh gosh, okay, phew, <laughs> I was a little worried there. It's like, I don't know what else I would do. End mission, your camp is safe for now. Thank you for playing. This map was be create, was, was be created. <laughs> this map is be created by Raptor Spino Rex. Wow, this, oh, I can fly. No, I can't move around. Cool, but it gives you a nice little view of your base and all the things. So, man, even after that big mission, I did not have enough uh, for 40 levels for the higher tiered gear. And I feel like for the most part, I did everything that was available as far as like killing things and doing side quests and stuff. So I don't know how you're supposed to level up to 40, but uh, I guess if I hadn't bought my armor, I would have had enough. And surprisingly, that didn't die. Cool, so I guess that is it currently for the Dead World map. It feels like um, there's still a lot that Spino Rex plans to add um, just by looking at the uh, the side quests. Like, there's a lot of slots available still, so I'm guessing he has some more work left to do on the map before he finds it's done. But uh, regardless, let's go back to my map review room, to the trophy room, and we'll talk a little bit more about Dead World and wrap things up. Alrighty, here we are once again in our map review room. Uh, I don't do this for every custom map I play, usually just for the ones I feel really either deserve it because they're well done or need it because they have a lot of improvement to do. Uh, and this one, I, I have some improvement suggestions, but I feel like it's really solid in general. I'm going to put it in the, right solidly in the middle of my rating system here, uh, the Flayer of Souls. Um, so that's, that's usually a, a score of three, but I'm going to give it a three and a half. Uh, because I really enjoyed this map overall. Uh, anyway, let me let me walk through a few more of my pointers here for you. So again, this was Dead World by Raptor Spino Rex. Uh, so first off, some of my suggestions for the map. I feel like the gear that you get in the armory is too expensive. Like it comes in pretty late in the map. Like I feel like the materials you need to collect to uh, to actually be able to build these extra buildings. I feel like it's pretty linear as far as when you receive them. Um, I, I could be wrong in that, but that was just my impression from playing. So I feel like the armory comes along too late in the game to really be all that helpful. Like, I would have loved having at least my armor uh, much earlier on in the map, maybe by the second or third mission or something like that. And then the improved weapon and bow, I have no idea the, what those would be like because I only got about halfway to being able to afford those after getting armor. So I, I suppose I could have uh, foregone the armor and saved up, but even then, I probably only would have had enough XP after the final mission. So I feel like it's a little... Uh, insignificant to have that stuff available but not really be very helpful by the time you get to the end of the game. Um, I also thought the the offensive potions weren't very helpful. Uh, you you would expect that if you have a bomb and a Molotov cocktail that they would do a little more work for you, but uh, as we saw in some of my videos, they just didn't really help out a whole lot. Uh, didn't really make it feel worthwhile to me. I would have also liked the health potions to be splash potions because uh, Usually when you're in a tight situation and you need to have a health pot, you don't want to take the time to chug it. You just want to be able to chuck it. And I understand that that would have also been used offensively against uh, against the enemies, but I feel like it would have been very helpful nonetheless. Um, the loot that you get from the, the scavenger mechanic wasn't usually that good. It was mostly just another potion or ingredients for potions or a low-tier weapon. And I, I definitely agree you don't want to have them be 
extremely overpowered because you can you can basically spam those scavengers because it's not very long cooldown on it. But I feel like the stuff you got just wasn't it wasn't any better than what you would get from loot on your own missions. So even if it was just food, I think food was definitely lacking in the map, and I didn't I didn't mention that in here, but uh, I would have liked to get a lot more food, maybe just more basic survival uh, equipment like wood and things as well, just be able to find that a little more often. Uh, and then some of the can mechanics, sorry, uh, needed some improving, I feel. Uh, so I guess kind of along the lines of what I was saying with the scavengers, just the loot wasn't all that uh, relevant. And I thought that being able to close your doors and close your gates for your base would have actually impacted the gameplay somehow, but as far as I can tell, it didn't. And uh, this is something I was talking to with Ron Smalik, who has already played and reviewed this map, um, and he's the reason that I decided to play it. Uh, I was talking to him about it, and it seems like it would be really cool if there were maybe kind of roaming zombie hordes that would attack your base every once in a while. Um, you know, thus giving you a reason to improve your walls and keep your gates locked and shut your doors and stuff like that. Um, so if you if you were to leave them open, then every once in a while you'd get attacked by a zombie horde or something. I feel like that would give those mechanics meaning. Um, as it is now, they didn't really. It, it still kind of felt cool that you could control that, but it didn't have any purpose as far as I could tell. Now, as for things that I really appreciated and found interesting about the map, I love the custom items. Uh, the fact that you can you can choose to have the machete. Uh, which does more damage, but, you know, it decreases your health. Uh, stuff that affects your speed, your max health, the damage output you have. I really enjoy that, and it makes it makes base Minecraft way more interesting to me, because you have to kind of weigh the trade-offs on your items and things like that. Because in, in normal Minecraft, you just get the strongest stuff you possibly can, and there's never a downside. So having uh, items with custom, you know, stat modifiers like that, I always appreciate in any custom map as long as they're useful and, and worthwhile. Uh, most of the builds look really good throughout the map, uh, especially the vehicles. I, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a terrible builder, so neat looking stuff impresses me easily, but I thought the, the vehicles were very cool. Uh, I thought some of the buildings, like in the base, were a little underwhelming, but the city itself looked pretty neat, and uh, just a good job on that overall. Uh, I thought the addition of side quests was a great idea, because I'm pretty sure when uh, Ron Smalik played, those were not included in the map yet, and I'm guessing that there will be more included after my LP, because it looked like they were still kind of a work in progress. But uh, that's a great idea, it increases the overall playtime of the map if you want to get more out of it, and if you don't, you can ignore them. They're optional, which is, is awesome, and it also helps you to acquire more loot and things like that. So that's a great idea. Uh, the thing that really sold me on the map and made me want to play it was the fact that you can improve your home base. I love games like that, where you can go out and do things and then you have something to show for it afterwards. Like your base visibly improves and uh, helps you out in the long run because you, you gain access to more resources and things. Um, and then going along with that, uh, rescuing survivors on missions and then having access to their trades and they they kind of bolster your uh, your home base and everything so some really cool mechanics that I enjoyed a lot and I look forward to seeing what else Raptor Spino Rex is going to do with the map in the future so there we go that is my spiel on that let's hit our button here and try to get through the door before it closes okay there we go Whew. Uh, so let's go ahead and place down our rating I already put down the the trophy here. I used some colored glass because that's what you use to like build new walls and things like that, which I thought was really neat. And we are going to give this a 3.5 out of 5. And we played this on, let's see, I'll, I'll just do 01 of 2015. Boom, there we go. So that is my first uh, map playthrough and review of the new year. Very cool. So thank you very much everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed my LP of the map and I hope you got tempted to play it for yourself because I think you should if you enjoy uh, this type of custom map where you get to survive and go through quests and improve your base, things of that nature. I think you'll enjoy it. It's not terribly long uh, so far but 
I mean, it seems like the longer we wait, the more stuff Spino Rex will add, and the map will get better and better. So I may even come back to it later on if a lot more stuff gets changed. But regardless, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time for the next custom map review and playthrough.